Oh yeah, I'm, I'm coming down guys. I'm like a chicken, sort of. Except I look weirder. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we're checking out the more swords mod And guys if you didn't know it's finally been updated to 1.7.10 and honestly they redid the entire mod They got rid of the old swords most of them and replaced them with more epic swords and brand new enchants, too There's a few that are the same, but there's really some cool stuff now I'm excited about this one and guys if you want to see this in our modded survival not in epic proportions because it actually doesn't fit Tried it already sadly but if you want to see it in our city survival, be sure to drop a like on the video, guys. Let's go for 15,000. I think we're going to own it because really this mod is freaking epic. It's really cool. But anyways, let's jump right into it. First up, guys, we are checking out the Dawn Star, and it's got two custom enchants that are pretty cool. And every single weapon has its own two enchants you can get on it, and some of them are pretty amazing. So, guys, with this one, we get Ignite. It lights enemies on fire. It's like fire aspect, but a little bit better. And actually, it causes creepers to explode automatically. It's really cool. The second one is called Sparks. At the moment, a work in progress. But what it's supposed to do is light everything around you on fire. That is going to be awesome. Imagine fighting, like, 10 zombies at night and killing them all with fire damage. All right, here we go, guys. So, to make the Dawn Star, which does 6 attack damage, it is going to cost you a Blaze Rod, Blaze Powder, Magma Cream, and some Fire Charges. It looks really cool, too. There's, like, a hole in the middle. I don't know. I don't want to know what that's for. I don't want to know. Okay, so um, when you fight with this thing, it actually does not do fire damage without the enchants, which is kind of surprising. Look at this. It, it, no fire damage. So you're going to have to get the enchants on it, but it's really cool. So this one's got Ignite 3, and guys, we're only testing the highest amounts because the highest amounts are the coolest and do the most damage. So let's get a brand new spider. This time, you're going to burn, bro. You're going to burn. It's pretty bad. It's even worse than fire aspect. I want to see if I can actually burn him to death without hitting him again. He's just standing there. Oh, I couldn't do it. All right, there we go. Dude is dead. So another thing we can do is we can ignite a creeper. Once it's hit, guys, it's going to blow up. You can't stop it. All right, don't blow up yet. Don't blow up yet. Don't do it. Let's smack him real quick. And he's going to blow up automatically. Nothing you could do about it. It's pretty cool. I like that feature. The next sword we're checking out is called the Vampiric Blade. It's got Feast, which actually restores your durability while you're attacking. Which is pretty cool, because normally for me, my weapons break. I gotta repair them. It's expensive. With this one, it's gonna last a really long time, so that's helpful. And Vitality. It actually heals you with some cool buffs, but it costs like a giant chunk of durability. So what you might want to do is try to get like both of them on the same sword. That'd be awesome. Alright, here we go, guys. The Vampiric Blade. 7 attack damage. Same amount as Diamond. To make it, 2 Obsidian, 2 Redstone, Iron Ingots, and a Stick. So let's grab this. And we also have the Feast one right here. Once again, it goes up to 3. And I believe on every single one, like the first enchant goes up to 3. And the second one only goes up to 1. So let's get these. Let's test them out. So yeah, as I showed you guys before, all like the normal swords kind of just do damage. It's the same thing as a Diamond Sword. But this one, it's really hard to show you guys like a difference. But the thing is, when I fight with it, it's going to last a lot longer. And you're not really going to lose much durability at all. So this one, it's going to last forever. It's going to be amazing. You're going to lose a little durability, but it's going to balance out and probably last like twice as long. But this one, it's actually going to heal you. So we kind of need to get hurt. Just, just hurt me. Don't rub your nose against me. Just, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We'll go with that. So we're going down in health. So all I have to do, guys, is right click and look at that. I get health boost and regeneration. So my health is like automatically back up. Let's do it again. I broke it. I broke it. It uses so much durability. But the thing is, if you're fighting a boss or something, it's going to be so helpful and probably going to be the difference between dying and surviving. So now, guys, we are checking out the gladiolus, which I believe is supposed to be based on the flower of the gladiola. I think so, at least. There's a flower in the recipe. So with this one, venomous will poison your enemies. Absorb will actually restore some hunger, so I'm not going to eat right now. I'm not going to eat. If anything, maybe I'll just jump around a little bit. Okay, so this one right here, guys. The gladiola, six attack damage to make it. It's going to be like a bunch of tree saplings, as you can see right there. A stick, any kind of leaves, vines, and in the middle... A blue orchid. So, kind of cool. I like that. I like the recipe for this one. So, I'm going to grab these. We will get our venomous aspect three and also our absorb. So, first, we're going to poison some stuff. And as you guys may know, not all mobs can be poisoned, but creepers are one that can be. So, I'm going to run away because I don't, I don't want you to blow up. I'm going to poison you. Okay, you can see he's dying. Taking some poison damage right there. So, going to be helpful against a bunch of different kinds of mobs. But the other one, it brings your hunger back. I need that so bad right now. I'm starving. Give me some hunger, please. Please. I know it's not every time, but I just want some hunger. I think I just went down in hunger. Come on. We're going for it, guys. I'm not giving up until my hunger bar at least moves in the right direction. 
Alright, let's go with it. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Ooh, it went up. It went up a bar. So as you're fighting, this is going to be really helpful because normally as you fight, your hunger goes down. With this one, it's going to go up. That is awesome. I love that feature. All right, so next up, guys, we are checking out the Crystalline Sword or Crystalline or we'll call it the Crystal Sword. So this enchantment is called Greed. It makes mobs drop extra experience. And you're going to need a lot, guys. I mean, this mod's got a bunch of cool enchantments, so you want as much experience as possible. And also, there is Wisdom, which is a work in progress. The mod creator stated... I accidentally broke it. Oh, that was funny. Um, so yeah, this one is broken at the moment. So let's check this out. So this one, only five attack damage, probably because it's made of glass, as you could tell. To craft it, it's going to be nether quartz, a stick, a glass paint, and a bunch of glass like that. And yeah, let's try this out, guys. I imagine it would break easily. Just looks like it would. All right, here we go. So it's going to be hard to tell the difference on the experience, but let's kill one normally. Let's go for it. Sorry, spider. Sorry about this. So as normal, guys, we get a little bit of experience, and you're going to get a tiny bit more with this one. But, I mean, over time, it's going to be really helpful. You're going to need the level. Seriously, I mean, there's so many cool chance it's crazy in this mod. So I'm assuming I'm getting a little tiny bit more experience than normal from that. So definitely very cool. The next one is called the Glacial Blade. It's got Frozen Aspect, which puts slowness on your enemies. And then it's got Frost Wave. I love that name. It puts slowness on everything around you. I didn't test this out, so I'm hoping it works. Like, the other one didn't work over there called Sparks. It's kind of the same thing. So, to make this really cool-looking sword, guys, which does 6 attack damage, it's going to cost you a lot of ice. So, ice right there, packed ice in the middle, and a stick. So, I'm not even going to grab the regular one. You guys already know what it does. It just fights. It's, it's like an iron sword, pretty much. So, let's go with this. Okay, so we need to slow down some enemies. Let's slow down this spider. Let's go for it. Slow yourself down. Slow yourself down. There we go. Eight seconds of slowness. That must suck, bro. That must suck. You can't even reach me. I feel kind of bad for it. I'll just let it hit me once. You feel better now? All right, there we go. Probably feel a little worse now. So this one, it's supposed to put slowness on everything around you. So I'm not sure if it's going to work because the other one that does kind of a similar thing didn't. Let's go for it, though. Slowness on anybody? Just, just give somebody slowness. If you gave someone slowness, I'd feel better about this. It looks like it's not doing anything, guys. But once again, a bunch of cool enchants. They're probably, like, working on this stuff. They actually just updated it to 1.7.10. So as you can see, there's a couple small bugs. And now we're on to some weapons that were actually in this mod originally. They kept these because they looked amazing. And the enchants, some of them are brand new, so keep that in mind. So this one, the Draconic Blade. Keen Edge increases your damage by a little bit based on, like, the enchant level. So I believe, like, one is one more damage, two is two, and so on. And scoring it doubles damage in dimensions. I love that. That is so sick. So to make a Draconic Blade, which is the same as a Diamond Sword, it is going to cost you Lapis, a Diamond, Redstone, Iron Ingots, and a Stick. And you guys might remember this from our modded survival. Like, I've had this weapon like a million different times. Let's go with this, though. We got Keen Edge 3. I just want to see if it does more damage. So let's get out a spider. It's going to hurt really bad if this works. Oh, look at that, guys. 10 damage. Much better than diamond. That is pretty sick, guys. So I'm feeling confident. Let's get some pig, man. Let's try this. I've got a strong weapon. Oh, I, I feel bad now. Sort of. Okay, 10 damage. You guys are going down. Get the baby. Why does this always happen? Why do the babies always come? I don't want to kill them. I love them. Uh, it's happening again. It's happening again. I'm sorry. So let's do this, guys. Let's head into the other dimension and test this one out. We are going to do double damage. I'm ready for it. So, yeah, nether portal underneath everything. Thought it was a cool spot for it. All right, I'm so impatient. Bring me there. Bring me there, portal. Okay, so we're supposed to do twice as much. Apparently, one is waiting for us. He's, he's trying to get away. You can't get away. 14 damage. Oh, my God. So, in other dimensions, guys, you are going to be annihilating everything in your way. Let's get more pig, man. I already have 60. Let's, let's get 64 more. So, these dudes, they're going down. Look at this. Look at that. 14 damage. Imagine if you put sharpness on this as well. You're going to be doing, like, 20 and killing them in one hit. The next one is called the Eye End Sword and actually allows you to teleport wherever you want. So with Ender Pulse, guys, you right click and you go over to that location. And I believe like the higher it's enchanted, the further away you can teleport. And the second one is really weird. If you take damage, you actually teleport to a mob 15% of the time. I don't know why that's good. Like I'm starting to die and then all of a sudden it brings me to another mob that finishes me off. We'll see what happens with that. I believe it can bring you to animals though, so keep that in mind. Might be helpful if you're about to die. All right, so to make this one, guys, which does 8 attack damage better than diamond, it is going to cost you 2 diamonds, an eye of ender, ender pearls, obsidian, and a stick. So let's get this cool stuff. This is a really cool looking weapon, too. It might be my favorite model. Let's check it out. How do we look? Come on, guys. How can you not love this one? I think it looks sick. So here we go. I'm going to get some mobs. I think the best way to test it 
is with a witch because you know a witch it poisons you so you're constantly taking damage I'll put a spider over here i don't know if this is gonna work or not we'll find out in a second and actually the first one we'll do that first so we right click and bam you teleport over there so if you're trying to like get around your world it's gonna be really helpful but i believe you can't teleport like a maximum amount let's see if we can get near that sheep can we do it oh it's not far enough how about right there okay we can make it from there so pretty cool for like traveling around and stuff but now we need to die all right let's do it hit me bro hit me i don't even need to fight him really i just i'll hit you once i'm poisoned teleport me somewhere 15 percent chance come on i know the poison works because i've tested this oh did you teleport me to you out of everybody around you teleported me to you there's other mobs that was a nice you're trying to finish me off aren't you this is not good oh to the cow i made it we survived oh it brought me back to the cow again i'm still poisoned oh god now i'm in the woods this could be so weird with a poison effect all of a sudden you're like in a different biome from like the damage you're taking surprisingly guys i actually survived that one i thought i was gonna get teleported towards it again and die but it didn't happen but the next one we're on to is called Aether's Guard. Ascension will toss mobs straight into the air. It's going to be epic. And Descension, you get slow fall if you hold shift with the weapon in your hand. So it could be really useful if you're falling from a high place or into a hole. Right, Jen? Which Jen's not here, but you guys know what I mean. She falls in every hole. So to make the Aether's Guard, which does 8 attack damage once again better than diamond, it is going to be 2 diamonds, glowstone like that, iron ingots, feathers, and a stick. So let's go with Ascension first. I just want to launch some mobs. Let's do this. So I'm gonna get a pig man. They can fly. Well, they can fly now. Oh my god, look at that. The fall damage is amazing. He died right there. So this one really helpful. Alright, witch. Get my revenge. You really don't go very high, do you? That was very odd. Alright, let's not try the witch again. Let's go with the spider. Alright, straight up. Oh, it seems a little buggy on some of the mobs, as you can tell. Let's try with the creeper. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't don't do it. Let's switch back. Fly. Some, they're not they're not going high enough some of these the pig man he cooperated all right let's go with it again and oh come on it's like lagging or something something is a little bit weird about this one but you guys saw like the first time i tried it the mob went straight up maybe i'm going too crazy with it try it again you only went halfway that's weird so for the other one we need to get up a little bit higher here and all i have to do is hold shift so i'm really hoping it's gonna work okay so we're gonna hold shift let's do it shift oh Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Let's get a let's get a better look. Oh yeah, I'm I'm coming down, guys. I'm like a chicken, sort of. Except I look weirder. Yeah, we're making it. No fall damage, hopefully. Imagine if this gave you fall damage. That'd be awful. All right, perfect. This could be so cool coming down from a high place. Didn't even use any durability. We're on to the last weapon that you're gonna use in a survival situation, and that one is the Wither's Bane. So consuming shadows, it blinds your target, and sometimes, not every time, guys, puts the Wither effect on them for I believe one second. And also decay is like automatic wither, so really useful. So let's go with it. To make this one, guys, eight attack damage once again. It is going to be really expensive. Look at this. Soul sand, a nether star, and nether quartz. So yeah, not exactly cheap, but definitely worth it. So let's say I want to kill a witch. I, ju I just want to kill one. Let's go with this. So it's blind. It looks to have the blindness effect. I really want to get the wither effect on you. I'm not sure what the actual percentage of a chance of it happening is. But all I know is it only lasts for, like, one second. Let's go. Come on. We might have to get out, like, um... I'm thinking... Oh, did you see it? He had it for one second, guys. Maybe I should get an iron golem for this. Come on. He's got it. He's got it. He's dying from it. Perfect. That was awesome. So, the other one, it's automatic wither effect. So, very helpful. Let's go with it. Wither effect is killing the witch right there. So, yeah. Both of these weapons, probably some of the best ones. Although, I do love the one that shoots them straight into the air. Don't think I ever get sick of that. Let's go through one more time. Wither effect. He's dying. And he is down. And the final weapon is the Adminium Arc. And you guys might remember this one from my top five strongest weapons in Minecraft. So yeah, at the moment, guys, you can craft it if you could somehow find a mod that makes these materials. So it's going to be Bedrock, a Command Block, and Portal Frames, and a Stick. So not really obtainable. Made for like servers and stuff like that. It does 99,999 damage. It does have a crafting recipe, though. But good luck trying to figure out how to do that. I renamed mine I Kill You because it's, it's pretty strong. And that's a better name for it. I like it better. So, yeah, Iron Golem, I Kill You. Look at that. It works. It works. It's perfect. I named it beautifully. Anyways, guys, that is about all there is to show with the More Swords mod, which updated to 1.7.10. At the moment, a couple of bugs, but honestly, everything is working really good. And I'm loving the new weapons and enchants. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. It's always appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.